On the 14th of February 2019, Team Cherry released the reveal trailer for the next game, Hollow Knight Silk Song. And ever since, the community has been speculating and waiting for this next installment. So today, I'm gonna go over everything we know about the game in hopes of making the wait less painful. The first big new feature is, obviously, a new kingdom. In Silk Song, instead of going down the ruins of Hollownest, you'll be ascending the Kingdom of Farloom, which has a lot of new areas to explore, some that we have already seen in previous trailers and gameplay. The starting area of this game is gonna be the Moss Grotto, a moss-covered green zone with lots and lots of plant life. This is the place where Hornet lands after she falls in the cutscene we see in the trailer. Next up we have the Deep Docks, um, very little is known about this place besides the fact that it's an industrialized forge, but yeah that's about all we know about it. Um, we have the Greymore, uh, a creepy looking place uh, that I like a lot. We have the Citadel that sits atop of the kingdom. Um, this place from what I heard it's gonna be like endgame shit, you know? So it's not gonna be a place you find straight out of the the moss grotto. It's gonna be something that you find way down the line. We have the coral forest and I gotta give it to Team Cherry. They made an awesome job with this one. This place looks fucking fantastic. And finally we have this weird looking place and tell me if I'm wrong but doesn't this look like the fishing village from the old hunters DLC in Bloodborne? I mean <laughs> You could just put a hunter in there and it wouldn't look out of place. It's the first thing that came to my mind. There are still some places left that I haven't shown you but all we have from them are screenshots and little clips so we know absolutely nothing about them and how they fit into the whole kingdom. So I decided I wouldn't show them to you. The combat has changed a lot too, um, it's going to be a lot more acrobatic and Hornet will have a whole new moveset for you to use. And once you use those new moves, you won't be getting soul like in the first game. Instead, you'll be getting silk, which you can collect by fighting enemies, by hitting silk spindles, or by getting webs. Silk can be used for healing and for a whole new set of special attacks. The beloved charm system is gonna go away sadly, but we're gonna get the new one, the tool system. Throughout your journey, you'll find lots of new tools with different types of abilities. And once you find one, you can equip them onto a crest. There are going to be lots of different crests and each one of them has a different number and type of tools that you can equip. But yeah, that's all we know about the combat so far. Um, if you want to read more about it, I'm going to leave some links in the description. Not only about this, but about everything I've said in this video. So go check it out. All these new fighting features would be useless if we didn't have enemies to kill. Fortunately, we have. In their first blog post, Team Cherry announced that there are going to be over 150 new enemies, including <coughs> this worm thing. <coughs> we have Mr. Bug Scissor Hands over here. <coughs> we have this dude that looks like Steel Soul Chin from the first game. And last but not least, we have Bellhead. And. <laughs> I'm being kind of sarcastic here. There are a lot of good enemies. I just decided to put in some dumb looking ones for fun. Uh, but yeah, go check the other ones. Links in the description. Boss battles. It wouldn't be a Hollow Knight game without some boss battles. So, in this new installment, we are going to have a whole new roster of bosses to kill. Until now, seven have been revealed. We have the Moss Mother that inhabits the Moss Grotto we saw in the beginning of the video. She's probably gonna be the very first boss of this game. We have the Hunter Queen Carmelita. Apparently, she's the queen of an ant tribe. I don't know. We have Lace, and this is gonna be a multiple encounter boss, like Hornet was to the first game. And the first place we find her is in the Deep Docks, apparently. She's also the boss with the coolest theme song. I mean, you have you fucking heard it? It's so fucking cool. The first time I listened to it, I was like... Anyways... We have Steel Assassin Sharpe. We have Seth over here. Yeah, just Seth. Trobio. And finally, the coolest one, The Last Judge. And... It hasn't been confirmed yet that he's a boss, but there are some screenshots of him shooting rings of fire at Tornit, so he's probably gonna be a boss. And now, the most important part. Release date. 
when Silk Song coming out? Well, all we know is that it's coming out on Steam and the Nintendo Switch, no PS4, when it's ready. But, <clears throat> according to my very legit sources, <laughs> it's coming out never. But yeah, thanks for watching this video. I hope you had the right balance between comedy and, you know, actual factual stuff. If you enjoyed this, leave a like. It shows me that you not only uh, like this type of content, but uh, you're also excited to play this game when it comes out in 100 years. I'm currently doing a series on the first game. If you want to watch that, it's going pretty well. It's really good. And if you have any games you want me to play while we wait for Silk Song, please leave your suggestions in the comments and I'll consider them. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye!